David Christopher, CMO of at and Mobility, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, it's great to be here. So let's start by talking about um, the latest ads from at and Sure. The it's Not Complicated campaign, I yeah. mean, you struck gold with that. And um, it's from uh, BBDO Atlanta. Right. 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 Um, let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, you know, what surprised you most about how it was received? Sure. So we, we tested this idea of uh, working with six-year-olds last year in 2012 in the NCAAs. And, mm. and that concept was very small. And the whole idea was you may as well have six-year-olds pick your brackets <laughs> for the tournament because That's nobody true. knows. You exactly. know, all these fancy models, et cetera. And it was a big hit, but it was very contained. And so BBDO came back with the idea of why don't we extend this? Because the problem we were trying to solve from a business perspective was communicating you know, our, our really strong network benefits. We mm. have largest 4G, we're the fastest in LTE, and we can do talk and surf on your iPhone. So three basic benefits. Mm -hmm. And so the idea that kids could communicate simple truths mm. um, in, a very, in, a, in, in, in the way kids do, you know, unassuming, endearing. humorous, and endearing. Yeah. And so what we wanted to do is, is try that, but, but keep the kids separate from the commercial it's message. Better, so all they do, if you watch the ads, is talk about, you know, what's better, bigger or smaller, faster or slower. And then we cut to, you know, our selling message at the end. And it's just wonderful. They just riff, they talk as six-year-olds do, as, as kids do, and just magic comes out of a bottle. So, I mean, clearly it's gotten a lot of accolades as far as, the, you know, the creative execution yeah. of it. Has it sold more wireless plans? And have people been able to connect the dots between yeah. the entertainment of it and the actual benefits of the product? Sure. So one of the things we talk a lot about is creating golden threads through advertising, mm -hmm. a continuity uh, across uh, what otherwise would be disparate ads. And so they've allowed us to do that, you know, this, this, this thread. Sure. And brand recall as a result of uh, this message, staying on this message, mm -hmm. and, keep, and having this continuity is very, very high. It's well above the wireless norm. It's well above our, our competitors. And we know from all the modeling, the econometric modeling we do, that when brand recall is that high, that sales result. And so it's a long-winded way of saying it is definitely working. Um, you know, sales first quarter over first quarter were up 58%. So uh, we're very pleased with the results creatively and as uh, for pure, pure business metrics. And just remind us, what had you done pr previous to, you know, to this campaign, what were you doing creatively? Sure, uh, sure. On TV, in yeah, we, we had we had a number of different um, uh, ads going, but we didn't have one you know one campaign, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, we had we we we've run different things in the past, like uh, you feature you know, the iPhone a lot. We feature I mean, the iPhone a lot. Clearly. We've had lots of different um, you know creative uh, constructs, but we didn't have a campaign like this. We've had family talk continuity. We've had uh, networking continuity or network advertising, but, but nothing quite like this in a long time. Yeah, so you've extended it, and how long will it continue at this point? You know, we, we don't know how long it'll continue. Frankly, it's, it's, it's how well the creative continues to do. And we watch wear out, we watch sentiment. Sure. And so, so far, so good, and we'll, uh, we'll plan on using it as long as it's working. Okay, great. So bring us up to speed on the business. Um, it's been two years since the iPhone opened up to other carriers like Verizon and, and Sprint. Um, what devices are you most actively promoting at this point? Sure. And where are you with the iPhone at this point? So, so um, we love the iPhone. The iPhone is a big part of our, um, of our strategy and our marketing, um, but so are the other platforms. We, we believe that diversity is great for consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good for the industry, and so uh, we've had a long history of being first to market with, you know, game changers from BlackBerry, from Windows. We're the first to launch the Windows phones. We're the first with the iPhone. Mm -hmm. uh, first and now the Facebook um, And now the phone. Facebook Home. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we do a lot of, a tremendous amount of effort, my team does, trying to find the latest and greatest okay. and partnering smartly. And so that diversity of the ecosystem is important. And, and today, uh, some of the big phones that we have now are the HTC First, the HTC One, mm -hmm. the, uh, and the HTC First is the Facebook Home phone. Um, the HTC One is a, a really a preeminent Android phone, the Galaxy S4, um, and then um, the BlackBerry, uh, the new BlackBerry as well. So we always want to have a broad portfolio of, of, of choice and yep. then a lot of differentiation that's unique to at and I did read somewhere though that um, you almost feel like um, you've said that promoting all the other phones, you know, kind of this range of devices, brings people into the stores, right. and yet they're still, at the end of the day, buying or have, up to this point at least, purchased the iPhone. Is yeah. that still happening? You know, um, 
Yes and no. Oh, that helped to hold, you know, help you hold your stronghold on the iPhone yeah. even after it had opened up to other carriers. The, the, the answer is kind of yes to both. And okay. so what happens is, we, we, I mean, the advertising objective is to drive traffic into your stores. Sure. And then the sellers have to take over. The good retail experience that we have has to engage, which it does. Mm -hmm. um, Apple is, is, you know, really changed the game in terms of usability, mm -hmm. um, a accessibility to applications, all the things that we know. And others are catching up in the sense that there are better experiences on Android than there, than there ever have been. Mm -hmm. And so we're selling more and more of those phones too. And, um, and so we think that the, the playing field is, 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 is all moving in the right direction from better user experience and we're seeing that in sales too. Okay, so let's now start moving away from talking about smartphones because actually smartphone sales are slowing. Mm -hmm. So clearly you need to find other devices, platforms if you will, right. for selling your service. Um, so connected homes and, and, and service and cars. Let's talk a little bit about that, sure. how you started to broaden your marketing to incorporate those. Yeah, yeah, well. absolutely. No, the connected car and the connected home are huge opportunities, but mm -hmm. kind of backing up, the way we look at this is the, the, the network, or the, specifically the LTE network, mm. is really the Uber platform. Mm -hmm. It's the thing on which to build all these other businesses. Okay. And then, and you think about the smartphone as a platform riding on top of that, that massive network, that mm -hmm. network as a platform. And, and that allows us, if you think about it that way, to actually go into lots of different businesses where we can add value. So the connected home is a great example. So the idea that you can run your home from your smartphone or your tablet for security and automation and then down the road, lots of other things too, mm -hmm. uh, was the original idea. And, and you partnered with ADT for that? Or no, we didn't. It's separate. We're competing. ADT We're competing. In that Correct. space. Correct. Okay. It's a, it's a very big market. It's a very fragmented market. Yep. There hasn't been a lot of innovation in the market. Mm -hmm. And so we thought that there was an opportunity to go bring a lot of what uh, what we do well yep. to this to this to this industry. But it creates a new competitive set for you. It does. It does. And but it's an exciting one because we think again our network and our smartphones and our tablets um, are how people want to work. That's how they want to live. You know, it's a mobile first society, and and who better to lead the charge on mobile first than AT and T? <laughs> <laughs> and the same goes for the cars, obviously. Yeah. So that's something you came out recently with an we, announcement. We just announced uh, a partnership with GM, and the idea is that. You know, typically connectivity in the car and innovation in the car has started with uh, diagnostics in the front. Mm. And then, you know, infotainment in the back has been somewhat of a, an afterthought or an aftermarket. Mm -hmm. We think that we can do both really well. Mm -hmm. So security, diagnostics, as well as infotainment and entertainment in the back. And, and we think cars are begging to be connected. And, uh, and so again, we think it's a great opportunity all riding on our LTE network. Let's talk about your media mix. Um, uh -huh. We just finished talking about the, the ad campaign, the centerpiece of which are the TV ads. Right. You know, at a time when everybody's looking, obviously, at digital and social and, and mobile. Sure, advertising, sure. Obviously, um, here you had a great TV ad campaign. Yep. Let's talk about that and your continued reliance on TV to get the message out. Yeah, yeah. We, we certainly, we, we do both. We, we spend a lot in TV, and TV is critical for us because mm -hmm. TV still works, even though uh, all these other emerging mediums are real, and we're spending a lot of time iterating so that we, we, we develop those muscles too. TV is still uh, very effective at swinging the doors, yeah. you know, driving people into retail. So we, we think about the mix very carefully. Um, social and digital and mobile first are critical for ourselves and other big brands. Uh, we're spending a lot there as well, but I look at sponsorships as well. Sponsorships as well. I mean, we we think about you know the, the old term of 360 marketing is still is still very apt. If you look at how, for example, we go to market with NCAA mm -hmm. or American Idol, you know we have the sponsorship property. We buy media around it. We have social and digital integrations happening uh, within those properties mm -hmm. and around those properties, so that it really is a a, a holistic way to go to market. Yep. Um, so long, you know, we're very, very bullish on social and video, and we're doing a lot there mm -hmm. uh, with Facebook, Twitter, and others. But TV is still very important. Is there a core customer that you're targeting? You know, wireless is so ubiquitous yeah. that, that, you know, we think everybody is going to benefit from a smartphone or a tablet sure. and some of these other services. But when we do our creative, we typically target, you know, the 18 to, you know, the 18 to 34, 18 to 50 ish mm -hmm. range. Sure. Um, but we obviously know there's lots of other segments, and we, we do more targeted efforts mm -hmm. around those that you not, might, necessarily, might not see in TV. Okay. So um, as things evolve and, and 
change. You know, who do you consider or what do you consider your biggest competitive threat right now? Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd flip it a little bit in that the world wants to work in a mobile first way. Mm -hmm. And so everybody is trying to figure that out, whether they're a competitor or not. Every business is trying to figure out, you know, how do I take advantage of mobile broadband? And so as a result of that, there are lots of new entrants into the category. There's lots of over-the-top players that are, that are offering free voice, free texting services, et cetera. And so you know, our job is to continue to add tremendous value for what we provide uh, above and beyond what's out there for free. Mm -hmm. And so that's one competitive dynamic that, that we pay attention to. Others are uh, just new business models that are coming uh, about in the marketplace. You know, people uh, subsidizing phones or subsidizing plans mm -hmm. in new and different ways. And again, we think it goes back to a quality dimension. We, we bring more to the table as a result of our assets, our distribution, our marketing, our products, um, and all on our network than we think any, any point solution can bring. But it's, it's rapidly changing, and it's super exciting.